a pleasant day to each of us. This presentation was prepared by the Group 1 with the members of Katrina Galido, Van Angelo Galvez, Lloyd Dominic General, Gerlin Laroya, Mark Louis Luzano, and Loris Luzano. Our topic is all about the history of engineering. History of Civil Engineering Civil engineers have saved more lives than all the doctors in history. Do you believe civil engineers have a greater ability to save lives than doctors? Yes, it is. More lives have been saved by civil engineers than by all of history of doctors combined. I know you are wondering how this happened. This is merely a brief explanation of why. Throughout history, civil engineers have saved more lives than doctors. Regarding to human health, civil engineers created projects that removes the waste from the water and made a sanitation systems to protect people and environment and to have a clean water. But doctors and civil engineers are both important in their work to serve and protect people. Civil engineering has evolved tremendously in aspects relating to building, designing, and maintaining the world's built and natural environments. Historically, the term civil engineering did not exist. It is only recently that engineers whose duties were civil and non-military were recognized as civil engineers to differentiate them from military engineers. What is civil engineering? The term civil engineer was introduced in the 18th century to distinguish the newly recognized profession from the formerly dominant military engineering. Engineers, on the other hand, have been involved in peaceful act from earliest time. So, the word civil is a Latin word civis or also known as citizen. The word civil is used between 1350 and 1400s. And 600 years later, which is today, we still continue to practice that civil engineering. Civil engineering is the practice of designing and constructing public infrastructures such as dams, bridges, canals, highways, sewerage systems, and other structures. According to Frederick S. Merritt's Handbook for Civil Engineers, Civil engineering is that field of engineering concerned with planning, designs, and construction for environmental control, development of natural resources, buildings, transportations, facilities, and other structures required for health, welfare, safety, employment, and pleasure of mankind. So in this presentation, we will also discuss about the ancient roots of engineering, history of civil engineering in the Philippines, founding of civil engineering, and the modern approach to civil engineering. Ancient Roots of Engineering When people began to establish towns and pace out their nomadic existence, engineering was born. As a result, construction evolved as a result of trial and error, separating good design from less effective ways. The Ancient Practices, 4000 and 2000 BCE Civil engineering may have begun in ancient Egypt. The Indus Valley Civilization and Mesopotamia, ancient Iraq, between 4000 and 2000 BC, when humans began to abandon their nomadic lifestyles, necessitating the construction of shelter. The Parthenon, 447 to 438 BCE. The Parthenon is a magnificent marble temple constructed during the height of the ancient Greek Empire between 447 and 432 BC 
the Parthenon, dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena, lies atop the Acropolis of Athens, a complex of temples. So, bale yung the Parthenon is ginawa siya parang temple ni Athena, the goddess of war. Machu Picchu, 1450 Machu Picchu is an Incan citadel set high in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Above the Orobamba River Valley, built in the 15th century and later abandoned, it's renowned for its sophisticated dry stone walls that fuse huge blocks without the use of mortar. Intriguing buildings that play on astronomical alignments and panoramic views. Its exact former use remains a mystery. Popular theories about Machu Picchu. Number one, Machu Picchu was the last Inca city. Number two, Machu Picchu was a holy nunnery. Number three, Machu Picchu was a royal retreat. Number four, Machu Picchu was a cre- recreation of the Inca's creation myth. And number five, Machu Picchu was built to honor a sacred landscape. Pero para sa akin, ang pinaka-realistic is Machu Picchu was the last Inca city. The citadel of Machu Picchu is considered the main tourist attraction in Peru and one of the most visited worldwide. Machu Picchu is a Quechua word that comes from Machu, that means old or ancient, and Picchu, meaning mountain. Therefore, Machu Picchu is translated as Old Mountain. Currently, Machu Picchu holds the rank of being considered one of the seven wonders of the world. This distinction promotes increased tourism in the area. Tourists of all nationalities travel to Peru with the intention of observing the Inca legacy and of course visiting Machu Picchu, which is also known as the lost, lost city of the Incas. Sabi ko kanina, ang pinaka-realistic na theory is yun yung pinaka-last na city ng mga Incas. Kings, queens, emperors, and pharaohs required military building services from their engineers in order to build massive structures that created a powerful and imposing image of themselves. This was the ultimate form of self-promotion. One of these military building services is the Great Wall of China. Great Wall of China, one of the most Famous structures in the world can be found to the northwest and north of Beijing, China. Said to be visible from the moon, the Great Wall is the longest fortified line ever built. It zigzags to the east and west along the mountains. It stands about 20 feet high and has 40 foot towers built into it every 200 to 300 yards. The wall tapers from a 25-foot base to about 15 feet at the top. The Great Wall of China has a history of more than 2,000 years. The Great Wall of China's history began in the Spring and Autumn period, 770 to 476 before Christ, and was last rebuilt as a defense in the Ming Dynasty, 1,368 to 1,644. The length of the Great Wall of China is 21,196.18 km or 13,170.7 miles. Great Wall has built to prevent invasion and to protect Silk Road trade. Great Wall has built with wisdom, dedication, blood, sweat, and tears. Families were separated and many workers died and were entered as part of Great Wall itself. The walls are made of stones, soils, sands, and bricks.
It is constructed by their own hands and took hundreds of years to build. The Point du Gard, or also known as Bridge of the Guard. The Point du Gard is a Roman aqueduct bridge at Nîmes, France. It was constructed in 19 BC and completed in 5 years. It was built to transport fresh water 50 kilometers to the Roman town of Nemosus. Nîmes was a major commerce center with its own council building and even a Roman theater. The aqueduct is 49 meters high and 275 meters long, with three tiers of geometrically flawless arches made of stone bricks. They are exactly aligned and the pressure they exert on one another keeps the structure in place. The first tier is made up of six arches that are 15 to 24 meters wide. The second tier is made up of 11 arches that are the same size. And the third tier is made up of 35 smaller arches that carry the conduit and only one person can stand in. The bottom tier is still used by pedestrians to cross the river, just as it was used by traders crossing guard to reach Mediterranean during the Roman period. But like many of the best Roman constructions, it was built without mortar. In 5th century, the structure was severely damaged but was restored in 1743. The Point du Gard is the highest and most well-preserved of all Roman aqueduct bridges. And because of its historical significance in 1985, the structure included to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. The other one is the Kanat Water Management System. Kanat is also known as Karis. It was developed in ancient Iran by the Persian people sometime in the early 1st millennium BCE. The Kanat system is a network of underground canals that transfer water from highland aquifers to lower level aquifers via gravity. The system has the benefit of being resistant to natural calamities such as earthquakes and floods, as well as deliberate military destructions. For ages, canats have been utilized for irrigation and drinking water around the world, and much of the population of Iran, as well as other desert regions in Asia and North Africa, relied on the canat water. However, the canat system can still provide a re reliable source of water for human settlements and irrigation but its worth is directly proportional to the quality, volume, and regularity of the groundwater. It may not be able to replace existing innovations in water resource management, but they can still be used to manage water in a sustainable manner. History of Civil Engineering in the Philippines During Spanish time, the old city in the Intramuros was built by the Spaniards on the south bank of the Pasig River around 1571 even though Filipino could design and build every structure. Because during the Spanish time, there were no Filipino civil engineers during the more than three and a half centuries of Spanish rule. Social prejudice forced the oppressed Indio builders to settle for the title of Maestro de Obras, or Master Builders. Master Builders were the forerunners of today's construction for man. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Filipino engineers were assigned the task of maintaining, repairing, and or remodeling infrastructure systems in all pueblos or towns including churches, convents, and government buildings. Maestro de Obras were called by the Ilustrados or the elite group to build structures in villas and mansions. In 17th century, the portions of the agricultural land in Cavite is granted by the Spanish kings to the priests and they subdivided into four states, namely Naic State, Santa Cruz de Malabon, Tanza State, San Francisco de Malabon, 
General Trias State, and Imos State. These states are now popularly called as Cavite Friar Lands. Cavite Friar Land Irrigation System is one of the oldest irrigation systems in the Philippines. 1846 In 1846, the Pasig River Lighthouse was the first light station in the Philippines when it was established in 1642. The first lighthouse tower in the country that was erected in the station and first lit in 1846. 1852, Puente Colgante. Puente Colgante is a suspension bridge in Spanish. Literally, Hanging Bridge was the first suspension bridge built in Southeast Asia when it was started in 1849 and completed in 1852. 1867, the project for public supply of fresh water. 1868, Bureau of Public Work and Highways and Bureau of Communication and Transportation was organized. In 1878 to 1918, the founding of Carriado Waterworks. 1878, General Plan for Railways. 1878, Concession for Constructing Five Tramways in Manila. 1880, School for Maestro de Obras called Escuela Practica y Artes Oficios de Manila was founded. 1883, the study for the first of the first railroad project between Manila and Tagupan done by Antonio de, Cam de la Camara was approved. 1887, construction of the Manila-Dagupan Railroad was started. 1892, the entire line for, from Manila to Dagupan with a total length of 195.4 kilometers was completed and put into commercial operations. Martial Law in, 18, in 1972 Marcos an incredible number of his structures ranging from public health clinics to cultural edifices were erected. Marcos' contribution to the construction of public infrastructure is obvious with many of the roads and structures built in during his reign in still used in still in use today. Pataan Nuclear Power Plant or BNPP was the Marcos administration solution to the oil crisis of 1973. 2014 to the present. The date was November 5, 2014. Former President Benigno Aquino III issued a, a proclamation, Proclamation Number no. 904, signed by Executive Secretary Paquito N. Ochoa Jr., declaring November to be Civil Engineering Month in order to raise the importance of civil engineering to the attention and consciousness of the Filipino people. On October 11, 2016, the Pietrocha Group, in collaboration with, with its local partner, Design Science, opened a vinyl sheet piling manufacturing factory in Mariveles, Palaas. Pietrocha Manufacturing Philippines is the Philippines' first Polish Philippine investment and joint venture in the in the civil engineering industry, as well as one of a kind knowledge transfer. Founding of the Civil Engineering Civil engineering has been an aspect of life since the beginnings of human existence. Civil engineering, as opposed to military engineering, was coined in the 18th century to encompass all things civilian. The institution of civil engineers the world's first engineering association was formed in London in 1818, and famous engineer Thomas Telford became its first president in 1820. The first civil engineer Janice Meaton is considered to be the first civil engineer and is often referred to as the father of civil engineering. He was born on June 8, 1724 and died on October 28, 1792, at the age of 68. He was a British civil engineer responsible for the design 
of bridges, canals, harbors, and lighthouses. His work with bridges, canals, lighthouses, harbors, and mills can still be found in the UK. He worked to create windmills and water wheels during the Industrial Revolution and published a paper about the correlation between pressure and velocity for objects moving through in the air. He was also a capable mechanical engineer and an eminent physicist. He pioneered the use of hydraulic lime in concrete using pebbles and powdered brick as aggregate. Smeaton was associated with the Lunar Society. Modern Approach to Civil Engineering In modern usage, civil engineering is a broad field of engineering that deals with the planning, construction, and maintenance of fixed structures or public works as they are related to earth, water, or civilization and their processes. Computers, distance meters, levels, tape measures, traffic counts, and software such as analytical or scientific, project management, and work processing are all used by civil engineers in the course of their work. In addition, Civil engineers should be familiar in the earliest primary tools in computer-aided design, which is the AutoCAD is a computer-aided design program created by the Autodesk Corporation. It enables you to create and edit digital 2D and 3D designs faster and more easily than you could by hand. The data may also be saved and kept in the cloud, making them accessible from anywhere at any time.